the Yangtze River in China, the largest river in Asia, and the third largest river in the world. Stretching 3,900 miles, or 6,300 kilometers, it's a host of beautiful locations, and is thusly a popular vacation spot for Chinese tourists. That was the purpose of the motor vessel Dongfeng Zixiong, or Eastern Star in English. On the 1st of June 2015, over 400 passengers were on board the ferry boat, most over the age of 60 years old, enjoying the beauty of the Three Gorges region of China. Tragically, the vast majority would never make it home from their leisurely vacation. Operated by the Chongqing Eastern Shipping Corporation, the cruise ship was ordered by the Chongqing Chaodong Shipyard sometime in 1992. It was completed and commissioned in February of 1994. She was 3,900 tons, 251 feet or 76 meters in length, and 36 feet or 11 meters at the beam. She cruised at a leisurely six knots, but was meant for inland river travel. She could host 534 passengers and was crewed by 46 crewmen. The vessel ran the Nanjing to Chongqing route, Starting in Nanjing, or Nanking, the capital of Jiangsu province in eastern China, and ending in Chongqing, a megacity in southwest China. The trip passed through the picturesque Three Gorge Scenic Area. This was labeled a Quintuple A Scenic Area by the Chinese National Tourism Administration, known for its breathtaking scenery, but also known for its sudden and often severe subtropical monsoon weather. On the 1st of June in 2015, several severe weather warnings were issued by the Chongqing Weather Administration, seven in total. Another vessel, operating in the Three Gorges region, made for port as advised by the weather reports. Though it's unclear if the Dongfeng received such reports or not, the captain and chief engineer swear to have not received these alerts, despite other vessels in the area having received them. At 2128, the vessel was struck violently by a massive gust of wind, believed to be a downburst from a nearby thunderstorm. The winds clocked in at 63 knots, or 118 kilometers per hour, striking the broadside of the tall, thin vessel. The river cruise ship, designed for river traffic, had a very shallow draft and high freeboard, making a massive sail area. The vessel capsized in seconds, leaving only a handful of crew and passengers enough time to abandon ship and swim ashore. In total, nine made it to shore and immediately went to notify rescuers, leaving 449 people on board, mostly elderly, to fight for their lives, now trapped in the upside down cabins. Most of which were asleep at the time, now awoke to being at the bottom of the Yangtze River as the ship quickly filled with water. Due to the relative remote nature of the locations, it took two and a half hours for the authorities to be notified. Ramping up, it was 12 hours later before the rescue effort was in full swing. Rescuers stated they could hear screaming and pounding within the overturned hull. They immediately started cutting holes in the underside of the vessel. They managed to rescue three survivors trapped in air pockets. But after sending divers into the waterlogged cruise ship, only bodies were found. The scope of the search was expanded progressively, the Chinese government claiming 3,000 rescue workers and over 50 boats were utilized to search the river. Later, the hulls of the ship were welded closed, and the Dongfeng was painstakingly inverted to her upright position and refloated. Now only bodies were recovered. By the 5th of June, 1,000 kilometers of the Yangtze River were being swept in body recovery efforts. By the 7th of June, the search was officially called off, and the Chinese government declared a period of mourning. All rescuers on site performed a moment of silence, in memory of the 442 individuals that perished aboard the leisure ship. I can't imagine how terrifying it must have been for them, said farmer Wang Jun, who was among the crowd observing developments outside the crematorium. Old people should be with their families and go peacefully, not like this. This would be the worst maritime disaster in recent Chinese history, second only to the sinking of the SS Kangya in 1948. 